going to begin now with the countdown to that rare and historic solar eclipse just days from now. That eclipse will pass over all of North America with more than a dozen states in the direct path of totality. And plenty of people are putting plans in place to see that phenomenon. Action News reporter Caroline Goggin is live at the Franklin Institute with more on the preps as the sun is set to take center stage next week. Hi, Caroline. Hey, Christy and Brian, this is really exciting. A lot of people are really looking forward to this solar eclipse last next week. In our area, they're going to be holding several watch parties for the event, including right here at the Franklin Institute. And right now, experts say people at home should get ready. Cross your fingers that we have clear weather and also get the proper equipment so you can take it all in. The countdown is on to the total solar eclipse. Next Monday, it will cast a historic shadow across parts of the U.S. It's absolutely fascinating. and for at least one reason, and that is it's so rare. A total solar eclipse occurs when the moon passes between the sun and the earth and for a short time completely blocks the face of the sun. At the peak, you uh, everybody will notice it'll be like a cloud in front of the sun, so it will get definitely dark. And the temperature will drop several degrees. The last total solar eclipse in the U.S. was in 2017. Crowds gathered down the shore and in the city to take in the site. Here in the Philadelphia area next Monday, we will only experience a partial eclipse in which the moon will cover 90% of the sun's surface. But we aren't far from the path of totality. Erie is the, uh, one of the places in Pennsylvania that's in the path of totality, but so is Cleveland, Ohio, and uh, so is Buffalo, New York. That's where Najee Ray is oh, heading. I'm probably going to go to Buffalo and just like go to watch it yeah so i wanted to make sure i had these he and dozens of other people picked up their solar eclipse glasses at warby parker in center city this afternoon experts say watching the eclipse without the proper glasses can cause eye damage that's why jacqueline strober got a pair before making the trip to vermont to be in the path of totality it's really exciting um it's not often that it happens and it'll just be a really cool thing to see in person OK, so we have some times for people here in the Philadelphia area to know for the partial total eclipse we will experience next week that starts here in our region at 208 next Monday afternoon with the most coverage seen here at 323 next Monday afternoon. Now get this. The last time we had a total solar eclipse here in Philadelphia was in 1478 and the next time we'll experience one will be in 2079. We are live outside of the Franklin Institute. I'm Caroline Goggin, Channel 6. Action News. Brian. Uh, I'll turn 100 that year. My goodness. OK, ABC News and National Geographic partnering to provide extensive live coverage of the solar eclipse. Eclipse across America set to air live on April 8th from 2 p.m. to 4 p.m. Right here on ABC, ABC News Live, National Geographic, Disney Plus and Hulu. As you know, Disney is the parent company of 6ABC.